Hey guys, it's Kuki again with another video and uh, this time I've got a very special video. Um, as you can see, I've got my OnePlus 60 and uh, I've tried out a few things with it. It's a ROM, it's not out there yet. I mean, it's not out on the XTA pages yet, but if you are someone who threads the pages of uh, Telegram group, you already have an idea about this. This is the Havoc ROM for the OnePlus 60. So stay tuned for that. So guys, uh, it is not any secret. I love Havoc ROM. It's one of my most favorite ROMs around. It has a lot of features. It is beautiful. The implementation is perfect in my opinion. And it just is an overall winner of a ROM. I really, really like it. So, um, naturally, I am extremely patiently waiting for this ROM on my daily driver, which is the 6D. And, well, it is now available. And uh, as you can see, it's beautiful. <laughs> it, it is. It really is. I'll talk about the status for icons in a bit, but I mean, apart from that, everything is beautiful. Before I get it even started, you can see face unlock is there, so face auto unlock is also available. And uh, the main issue, let's just get that out of the way. Fingerprint scanner does not work, which is the under display fingerprint scanner. No custom ROM has that working yet, so you will have to wait for that at least for some more time. So. With that out of the way, let's get started. First of all, I'm using a Google Apps package which includes Pixel uh, Launcher. If you are not using that one, you will get Quick Step and Quick Step does work out really well. Let's get to the settings now. In the settings page, in the About Phone page, at the bottom, you will see this is for the, it's, it straightly says A6013, not really sure, but anyways, it is 60, uh, you will get that. Works out really well. Uh, Android version is 9, it has December 5 security patches. For better or for worse, in my opinion, it's for the best. You have Smurfs kernel, which is, in my opinion, one of the better kernels available for the 60. And that comes stock with this one, which is pretty awesome. I like, like that. SNS analysis is permissive, which is in turn because of the Smurfs kernel. As you can see, Havoc version is 2.0. It is the official version. Build this is 23rd. It's been out for a while. And the maintainer is unknown. Um, let's get started now. First of all, before that, everything works. As you can see, VLD works, uh, camera works, Bluetooth works, speakers, everything basically what you would need for a device works. I've been having a lot of calls with this one on this ROM, particularly. Uh, conference calls, calls to my company, emails sent, all of that. And this was doing it like a champ. I didn't have any issues with it i'm really really happy with the performance and the stability of this rom the fingerprint scanner does not work so keep that in mind apart from that everything is great uh, network indicators all of them works uh, really really cool let's get to the features because if you know havoc there are a lot to get through so let's not waste any more time in the havoc settings is where you will find most of the features first of all status bar options you will have hide the notch if you are someone who does not like the notch settings you can hide it from here double tap to sleep on the status bar is available brightness control is available quick pull down is available Smart pull down is available. Clock settings are available where you can customize everything and also AMPM can be enabled if you are not using the 24 hour uh, clock if, like I am. Front style can be customized for the clocks and the status bar items if you are someone who uses that. Date options are, are available. You can enable date for uh, whatever reason if you want to have that and also format can be customized from there. Breathing SMS, breathing missed call and breathing voicemail options are available which you can customize there. Uh, battery style can be customized. I've kept it hidden because of the notch. The space here is pretty minimal. If you enable that, you you can see there is a dot which means everything has gone uh, somewhere else that does happen sometimes battery person can also be inside the icon outside the icon and all that can be customized battery bar can also be enabled top of the status bar top of the nav bar bottom of the nav bar all of those options are available you can customize that now, traffic indicators can also be enabled personally i have not enabled that one because if you enable that i mean everything is gone it's not like oxygen os where if you drop down everything it will still be there for some reason uh, that's not the implementation right now i would love to have that implementation because that is in my opinion a better implementation for an off display with the network traffic indicator these icons will scroll around which uh, might be appealing for some people and I, I don't find it appealing so i don't use that you do have wi-fi data indicators all that can be customized carrier label can be customized in the lock screen only or any of the other stuff you can also have a custom carrier label which the status bar icons can be customized which you can customize in any other custom rom which is pretty cool uh, notification count can be enabled bluetooth battery status can be enabled if you are having a bluetooth headphone which indicates the battery on the status bar it can be enabled there VLT icon can be disabled if you want more space there. Old style um, mobile type style, which is pretty cool. I like that. For the icon instead of LTE, show data disable icon if you want that. Quick settings uh, options, you have layout options. 
as you can see this is my favorite layout that is 7 by 3 works really well and the quick setting also can be customized in that regard all of these options are available and if you can see the accent colors and all that can be customized it has a lot of tiles way more than you will ever need even caffeine even uh, even the compass even smart pixel all of these options are available you can take your own time looking at this one brightness icon can be enabled on the top or the bottom and also auto brightness icon can be enabled or right in, enabled or disabled also the uh, button can be enabled or disabled on the right side or the left side uh, all of these options can be customized settings icon can be enabled and also running services icon can be enabled which is here the interface settings you have pixel ui or aosp ui if you want any of the other personally i like pixel ui which is the material design as you can see i mean uh, this has changed to aosp which um which is pretty cool i mean some people have a uh, hard for that one i like the pixel ui better because it feels a bit more premium than it usually is so yeah as you can see the pixel weather and all that is available now now background color can be customized as you can see dark light and a wallpaper base is available notification color can also be customized it's now in auto which is dark selecting from the background color accent color can be customized i have selected white you can select any of these quick settings header style can be customized even transparent can be customized for that right now this area is now transparent quick setting tile can be customized this is the dotted circle style which i'm using right now it has way more options than you definitely need fund manager is available and you can customize what all fund you want in here or not there are a lot of them i'm using samsung one which does work really well with the theme of the pixel ui which is really cool rounded corner radius can be customized from here because our display already has a rounded corner i have selected it to the natural curve of this one which does work really well also the corner content padding that is amazing if you want if you can as you can see you can customize the distance of the battery icon and also the clock icon on this one and you can customize that which is pretty cool and uh, you can get it precisely where you want it to be uh, dashboard icon can be customized it can be around audio all that can be customized which is really really cool now in the ambient display options you do have all the baby of options you have new notification for ambient display battery level can be enabled tilt pickup and wave pocket mode all of these are available you can customize that screen options you do have smart pixel which is a great battery saving feature and it actually works uh, if you are using it for day and night uh, options and it does work out really well screen stabilization is available which is great for someone who travels a lot in public transportation which is really cool now in the button section you do have power menu options you can customize everything here on the power menu you even have on the go mode screen of power torch is available by long pressing the power button and the screen is off and also automatic turn off is available for that volume rocket customization is available so one more thing is that you can customize where the volume panel comes on right now it's on the left and you have have like a lot of options for that you can even customize what all stuff appears here if you just want a ring option you can enable that it is available now keyboard cursor controls are available volume steps can also be customized the timeout for the volume dialog can also be customized which is pretty cool music controls are available volume rocker wake is available volume key answer is available navigation bar options are available personally i'm using the gesture navigation which is available in this one uh so i don't use this but if you are using it it does have a smart bar it does have fling settings and it also has the stock USB style nav bar which is really cool. The gesture options you do have system gestures in which you can double tap the power button for the camera. Swipe up on uh, home button for the recent bar which is quick step. Also you can have the Google Pill which is also there. Swipe to screenshot is available so that does work out really well. Gestures are available which is the uh, carbon style gestures you can customize that. Also this one is available this is the navigation by gestures which is the OnePlus style gesture animation so gesture uh, navigation which is available. It's not as smooth as OnePlus is or as uh, useful as one pluses but if you are coming from a one plus uh, stock rom this will kind of fill the void for you <laughs> that's where that's what i feel now apart from that lock screen options are available double tap to sleep media cover art on the lock screen visualizer is available which you can customize widget uh, sizes can be customized for the call uh, for the clock and the date fund which is pretty cool weather options you can customize the uh, the uh, units for it celsius or fahrenheit pin ripple all of these options are available face auto unlock can be enabled from here it does still show uh, fingerprint unlock option which well it just uh, doesn't have fingerprint unlock so yeah pocket detection can be enabled or disabled from here disable quick settings all of these options are available lock screen charging info can be enabled or disabled which is pretty cool lock screen shortcut can be enabled hide lock screen icon can be uh, enabled from here it has a lot of features one thing which i really really like is that it does support dash charging standard so that's something which i do want to mention let me just show you guys the dash charging icon this is something which no other custom rom has right now um you, you can see probably you can see that right i hope you can see that it has that dash icon it shows dash icon 
uh, that's charging it shows the uh, milliamp per hour and also it has that icon which is animated no other custom rom in my opinion has that recent options you have you can customize between quick step the stock android android go which is the tiles are stacked up and also the slim style options you can customize that i'm using the quick step one because i feel i should have quick step so that is working really well for me in the notification options you do have light customization which doesn't work on this one blink flashlight on call is available you disable fc notification disable email same mode messages and all of that can be customized it does have heads up display customization for timeout and snooze timer which i really like also it has less boring heads up so as you can see here show heads up only for dialer or messaging application if you are someone who uses that ticker options is available and that is the reason i like it the problem with notch display though is that uh well notch display doesn't play very well with tickers because well well there is a discontinuity there so keep that in mind uh, close icon can be enabled from here kill app button from the status bar is also available in call vibration can be customized from here which does work out really well now animation options are available which you can customize basic stuff uh, AOSP, AOKP, screen of animations available toast animations full cache can be enabled or disabled power menu animations are available which is all of this one system options you can enable signature spoofing if you want to use micro g i'm not really sure if it even works but hey it is there privacy guard is available if you are a privacy freak like uh, most other people are you can do that show cpu info and you will feel that it is pixel smurf util which is the uh, schedule till uh, modified by the amazing developer for uh, smurf kernels burn in protection is available for the status bar icons which is pretty cool but works really well now in the device options you do have device gestures you can enable that this is the screen of gestures i personally don't use it anymore but it is available for those who do want to use it otg support can be enabled from here ambient display options can also be enabled from here yes that is one more thing that i did mention or i did notice that even if you enable these options from the display options for the interface options you have to enable hand wave pocket mode and pick up sensor from here for it to actually work slider options are available and you can customize that slider does work out don't need to worry about it high brightness mode is available and you can enable that it also has a tile for it which does work out fan modes can be customized it does have one plus mode adaptive brightness mode night mode white color gamut mode and srgb mode all of this does work out really well one plus mode is a bit more vibrant i like that battery saving it does have sensor block per package and it does work battery life is amazing on this one which i will be getting into a little bit later then the miscellaneous options you do have media scanner behavior on boot usb configuration whenever a usb device is connected uh screenshot shortcut if you can even enable that if you don't want people to use that option screen shot shortcut and screen record shortcut both of them are available screen record quality can be customized which is 720 480 and uh 720 plus i believe i'm not really sure but that is available screenshot type can be customized and one more thing screenshot does have the edit button on the status bar and it does give you straight it get you straight to the crop function which i absolutely love so that's amazing that is it in the havoc settings it's been a long list it's a huge list for now this is how this will have to do display options are available in the other settings uh, that your brightness nightlight is available font options can be customized from here there is a hide notch option here also advanced notch options are available remove notch will change everything down if you don't want the notch to do anything but it will reduce the screen real estate so that is available tall display cutout will increase the size of the status bar if you are someone who wants to do that not really sure but these are options available if you want to use them sound options are available which is basically the same it does have sim 1 and sim 2 separate ringtones which is cool i like that um it does give you a little bit more uh control over it so it does work out really well now security options as i've already told you guys smart lock is working and i have been using smart lock face unlock for some time now my doorbell is encrypted and it has been working really well for me so no issues there in the system options it doesn't really have an updater right now because well it's not really out yet that is it in the features and it kind of feels funny saying that is it because it is loaded the only other rom which can rival this in the features department is msm extended and well msm extended is not available for 60 yet i mean to be honest this one is not either but but this is still an amazing mob so yeah full on mods of features now now let's talk about the battery life the battery life on this one is freaking amazing i'm not sure if i need to say this but the battle life has been pretty amazing right now what you see here is with uh, benchmarks and all that are still running i was getting a constant active rate of six percentage per hour and the idle rate was somewhere in the neighborhood of 0.4 which is ridiculous i mean come on that's not even a drain in my opinion so 
that has been how it is. Smurfs Kernel is kind of known for that, so I'm not really that surprised. But in the meantime, I was not getting any missed notifications or anything of that sort. Let me show you guys the performance score which I got with Antutu Benchmark, which, well, this is the highest score which I received ever. And uh, in the ranking, it is the top. It is the highest by about 4,000. The other device which has a score similar to it is about its Mate 20 Pro. I mean, I know benchmarks don't really mean much, but come on i mean you have to appreciate this right i had run the benchmarks a few times and it was kind of all over the place this is the last benchmark i got now uh, before this i got 32,000 something first benchmark i got was pretty abysmal i got about 27,000, which is well uh, considering the scope of this is kind of low but after that i've been getting more than 30,000 by a long time and it's been pretty cool let me just show you guys pubg and how pubg runs on this one which uh well to be extremely honest it works as you would expect on any other 60 device Nothing special, but uh, hey, that is how it is. So as you can see, PUBG is running. I'm not going to play a game because it'll take way too much time. The video is already running too long. But uh, as you can see, I mean, it, it works like, really well. Now, one more thing which I do want to mention is that I have no idea how to exit from the game because of the gesture navigation. It doesn't seem to work. The only way I I, I, I got out of this one is going into a service menu and just uh, deleting that or just going in like this. If you have any um, idea on what I can do about that, do let me know because uh, this is frustrating. So yeah, that was the performance and as you can see, it's top notch, it's great. Now let's talk about the stability. Again, stability is also pretty surprising. It is extremely stable. I, mean, I never had any issues with it. I do want to mention that uh, um, restarting, I mean, installing this ROM is still a pain with AB partition. You will have to install it twice uh, by rebooting into A partition or A slot and then B slot. It's kind of a pain, but um, I don't think we have any other choice with that. Apart from that, everything just works. I'm really happy about that. Now let's talk about the camera. Camera options are also pretty cool. I have been using Gcam with this. Gcam works, uh, Nightside works, um, I haven't had any issues with that. It also comes with Oxynoise camera which is kind of buggy. Um, I haven't been able to get a very good shot with it. It crashes way too often. Uh, for example, if you go into portrait mode, it just, yeah, it just crashes. I think that is one of the only problems with it. But again, you can go into Google camera and use that. I, I've been working it, I, I've been using this for some time. It works, it just works really well. I'm using the yeah, Nitivens version uh, final, I believe. I'm not really sure, but anyways. The latest version of our Google camera for our device. So aesthetically, um, as you can see, everything everything is customizable. You can have white uh, notification, white uh, this thing, dark the other. Everything is customizable. It has a lot of customization inbuilt for aesthetics. It also has Substratum. I mean, Substratum is still uh, um, root. Uh, enable so you do have to have root for that and also add this module um, it works so nothing much to say about that now comes the overall user experience the only problem the only reason i'm not going to use this as my daily driver and yes i'm not going to use this as my daily driver is the fingerprint scanner i have grown used to using fingerprint scanner on this device uh, it's pretty useful and i really like it face unlock is not as fast as uh, google or uh, the oneplus's face unlock feature but apart from that this is a very very Record well. One more thing which I did find was not working in this one is that it doesn't have call recorder, which is an absolutely essential feature for me. I like that. It has proximity speakerphone and all that, but it doesn't have call recorder, which is kind of sad. I would love to have call recorder in the coming version of it because, well, I just need it. So, yeah. Let me show you guys the boot animation, which is pretty damn awesome. There you have it. That is the Havoc boot animation if you're a fan of havoc if you have been using havoc for some time you already know this and uh it's a cool boot animation so guys there you have it that is the first look at havoc rom on the oneplus 60. i'm in love with this one i mean i, I can't wait for fingerprint scanner to be fixed on this rom and uh, i i just cannot wait to have this one as my daily driver as of now, I cannot because, well, um, it just eats up in the back of my head that this person has the fingerprint scanner working. And also, one more thing which I do want to mention is that if you, because it doesn't have fingerprint scanner, uh, Magisk uh, safety check status, it will run CTS profile as false. So that can cause some applications to break. Um, I don't use any applications like that, but a few backing applications can cause issues with that. I really, I mean, believe me, I hate to sound like a fanboy of anything. 
but i mean i am a fan of this one this is just that much more awesome so yeah that's pretty much it what i wanted to talk about this one it's that great so yeah i guess this video has gone on for long enough hope you guys like the video please hit subscribe and like the video if you find it useful see you guys next time bye